All right, so after my like, last training video, which was to do with hill climbs and uh, volume and how it's quite important for hill climbs, I thought I'd make another video more about intensity and why I think double days can be a really good way of maximizing your intensity during the hill climb season. Now, we're gonna look at like, I guess my training piece calendar and then you're gonna see why I think double days are quite useful. So potentially on this one, it's not as important, but if we look down in the future, like this is the rough plan, not 100%. Uh, you know planned but if I'm racing twice per weekend that's a lot of intensity so you know on average people say you want to do maybe three days two or three days of intensity per week right obviously with hill climbs it's different just because actually the volume is going to be quite low so you can probably go away with four but even so like let's say before you know we start racing properly so I'd say this is still like on my pre-competition phase even though I am racing the race I'm not tapering for and I'm not really paying too much attention um why I'm paying attention, like I want to win, obviously. It's not going to happen, but I do want to win. But I think it's more the fact like, you know, this is more like training for win-its than just like results. So anyway, the point is this, is that if you're going to maximize your training, then like intensity wise, then if you can do one session per day, you can probably target one anaerobic, you like one system. So for instance, this is my morning session, right? It was only going to be one a day and then we'll explain what happens. But I think, so like in the morning, for instance, for me, I have quite a lot of time to ride, so I did like four one and a half minute efforts and then did some sprints after. Because I think, you know, zone seven sprints are useful for hill climbs just because some of them are so short that actually it's quite important. But anyway, you know, we did like some decent efforts, finished off with like a 440 normalized or something, or 441 minute or for a minute and a half. So not bad for me. Um, and then we did some sprints here, which were very questionable. But the thing is, so let's say you're going to do that. And then I maybe do one VO2 max session here and then my hill climb. And then obviously doing efforts after hill climbs after racing can be really useful. But again, that is, that's that's good. But the thing is, on this one day, and this goes back to this podcast that I mentioned before, which I linked below, which um, is where you know they were interviewing this speed skater, which has with Steven Seiler, and um, it was on Fast Talk. And it's a similar principle, but basically, like once you've turned on your like high intensity then you just want to get as much out of it as possible. Obviously, you don't want to absolutely ruin yourself. However, I think, you know, if you're going to do, like, for instance, people always say, if you're doing a gym session, always do it on your high intensity days because it's like, that's, your body's like, it's high intensity, that's how we're going. Well, if you do like high intensity every day, obviously you burn out. So that is why I think for hill climbs, it's really good to do a double day if possible. So like, if you work a normal job, like a nine to five, then, you know, in the morning, you go out and you do probably the highest intensity and, well, for me, I'd say the longer efforts, because I think those are more tiring. So let's say you're gonna do your three minute intervals in the morning. Um, so you know, six three minute intervals, which is not like 120% threshold work. And in the evening, just do some sprints or do some one minute efforts. And I think that's a really good way of getting like obviously two different systems. I mean, they're very closely related, VO2 max and anaerobic capacity. There's a lot of crossover, but I think it's a good way of doing it because what you can do is basically have like way more intensity. So if we actually, we'll just look on Strava because sometimes it's a bit easier to see this, but this is the morning session. So I started to do some sprints and you can see like my 30 seconds was like 620 watts or whatever. And like these sprints at the end were quite rubbish. Um, so, you know, again, you're like, that's good, but I'm not really being too productive because my sprints aren't great. And this is the other reason why it's good to do double days is because you can then do, you can't do double the intensity, but you can definitely increase like what you can do. So here, let's say there was, was supposed to be 20 second sprints best was 30 seconds but then if we go into the evening um you know it was maybe like three hours rest for me because I, I got quite um up quite late you can see here like these were like more like minute efforts i did 594 watts for 51 seconds which is like some of my best ever power um again this one's like 47 seconds if we actually look at it, it's like again 590 um this one was a little bit worse 540 but what, what i'm trying to show is that you can see that my numbers are really good in the evening and if I did them after my one and a half minute session, there's no way I could fin I could do that. So that's also why it's really good to do double days is because instead of doing one long session, so let's say, again, your typical nine to five person, you know, you could do one session with your three times six minutes and then you could try and do one minute efforts, but you're just too cooked, it's not gonna happen. However, if you do double day, it's easier to get more intensity in. And ultimately with hill climbs, like there's a large aerobic capacity, like part of it, but a lot of it is just pure anaerobic capacity. So you just need to get as many hard efforts as possible. And then this is like our final effort. It was just like basically you just go full up this climb. And um, again, three and a half minutes for 391 watts. I was actually quite happy about that. That was not bad considering what I'd done the whole day. Um, but yeah, so that's why I think for hill climbs, it's a really good way of doing double days um, just to increase the intensity. I'd say the rest of the year, maybe it's not too important. I think, you know, you could do a double day in terms of more, just adding more volume. So you could do like 
let's say a threshold session in the morning and then in the afternoon you could try and add an hour and a half um, just to you know increase the volume but I think when it comes down to hill climbs I think it's really really good to do that uh, because you can just add so much more intensity and with such high intensity you can't combine it um, really so obviously like if you are full time for instance you might do your threshold session and just add two hours on the in the evening but if you're working then you know you could you could split that up um, and you know do similar things but I think if you try to do that the same session even if you're full time necessarily in one session I think it'll be too hard to complete so yeah that's that's my point is basically you know if you're gonna you're gonna do your intensity sessions just make them really really hard um, I mean obviously caveat that with you know not the whole time but just for hill climbs I think you can go really really hard um, and it's a good way to do it and the other thing is always just good to um, it's good to get other people out and just smash them like when I did them uh, the other day Andrew and Archie both absolutely battered me up every sprint which was good because I was just like gotta go harder and um, I really pushed myself well I think if I was on my own maybe it wouldn't have happened as much um, but anyway the rest of my training has been going pretty well uh, we've done some three minute efforts here where my 40 20s were quite strong actually which I was happy about these 90 second efforts were a bit rubbish the first week just because you know haven't done too much high intensity really I've just done base uh, my racing this was better I got a third which I was quite happy about and some decent power you can see here like I think I did like 340 watts for 10 minutes which is like all right it's not crazy I've done 330 for 20 recently but it's not bad um, and then you know I did some did some more K's uh, on the on the weeks after and this is my last race for a little bit um, Sodbury which should be good it's up a, a nice climb like five six minutes so it'll be good to compare that to my first climb which is which is not very good had some mechanical issues and just had bad legs all around to be honest and then after that um, I'm gonna have a big training week to be honest I'm, I can't race on the weekend I'm, I'm busy uh, but hopefully I can get a good training week in uh, and then have a rest week because uni starts and I might actually have to do some uni this year as I am now in fourth year uh, and then yeah a hill climb that weekend and then it's like you know into the good stuff seven or well, it's eight hill climbs in October so excited for that uh, and yeah maybe we'll get more into what I'm going to do uh, pre hill climbs but I think one of my first things is just to see you know this hill climb and the one which I taper for which is the chip and wheelers which is going to be like a four minute hill climb four to five minutes again um, just see what the numbers are and sort of see how I'm feeling like is my punch really good because I think actually like surprisingly for me I'm not a very punchy man obviously uh, my punch actually seems quite good and maybe it's my slightly longer efforts like these one minute and a half weren't great but my like 600 watts for 30 seconds to a minute was actually quite good so maybe you know just drag these minute and a half ones out to two minutes make them a bit more VO2 um, and obviously focus on my three minute efforts as well um, but anyway that's that's the plan um, obviously uh, if you've got any questions if you, or anything else or you want me to go anything else through my training then obviously let me know um, but anyway cheers for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one